guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the top five things that we absolutely loved in the first six months of having Eva. If you're new around here then hi my name's Amy, I'm 25 and I live in Worcester with my boyfriend Sean and we have a daughter who's six months old called Eva. Um, I would love for you all to stick around so if you could hit that subscribe button that would be amazing. Let's get on to the video. So number one, our first thing that we couldn't live without in the first six months was the Tommy Tippy prep machine. So the Tommy Tippy prep machine makes a bottle within two minutes. It's so easy so you don't have to faff around with the kettle, especially in the middle of the night when you're waking up for 2am feeds. You don't want to be going and putting the kettle on with a screaming baby and then having to wait 30 minutes for it to cool down. All you do is press two buttons and the milk is ready within two minutes. Our uh, number two that we couldn't live without was our Chico Next to Me. I breastfed Eva for just over three months, so the Chico Next to Me was perfect for that, especially in the nighttime feeds. Um, so she would, obviously being the Chico, we would have the side down at first. Um, she would be next to me in bed, and I would literally just be able to lean over, lift her out, and tip and get her so easily it was just perfect for the first few months then after that she slept in it since and all we've done is put the side up next to the bed get her used to being in it on her own without having me next to her and then literally we've just pushed her away from the bed now and um, soon she will be going in a big girl's cot which i'm pretty scared about um well not scared i just couldn't miss her <laughs> but um yeah she should be fine um number three that we couldn't live without was you and the sheep so you and the dream sheep is a sound He's a sound sheep that is absolutely amazing. He does four different sounds. You control him by pressing his feet. And then you hold to turn him off. And he is amazing. At first, we didn't think he worked because Eva just didn't bother with him. Like, if even if we turned it on, she would still be awake crying. Um, but we persisted with it and now she just falls asleep to it straight away. I'll put her in a cot, I don't have to rock her or anything. Put her in, put this on and she's asleep within 10 minutes. Um, she absolutely loves this and sometimes I have to come back upstairs and if she starts stirring and things, just turn it back on and she drifts straight back off again. So that is our number three. Number four, it's a bit of a controversial one, is the sleepy head. This is ours. So Eva used this from when she was born. It was absolutely great to use. Um, it's so light, so you can just carry it around anywhere. We um, had her downstairs in it when she was first born, so it was easy for me to obviously put her down in there. And it makes them feel like they're still being snuggled and secure. We also went to stay at my mum and dad's because I'm originally from Huddersfield, so we went up there to stay at my mum and dad's for a few weeks, and she just st st slept in that um, in between me and Sean in the bed. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good. It's so easy to wash it as well. You just take the cover off, wash it, put it back on again. Um, and Eva absolutely loved it. Um, we thought we was going to struggle because now she doesn't use it because she's too big for it. But it did last about five and a half months. So we thought we was going to struggle when we, were when we took her out of it. But she didn't. She tr um, transferred straight away into just having the cot. So it was absolutely brilliant. So I would highly recommend it. I know it's controversial at the moment with all saying that like... You know it's dangerous and stuff but we never found any problems with it the fabric is breathable uh, we just found it amazing and Eva obviously really liked it because she would always sleep in it so and number five is the angel care bath seat we have the bath seat for Eva in pink at first when we when she was first born we were bathing in the sink with our arms and then I didn't feel safe bathing her in the big bath with just holding her. I didn't like it. I always felt like she was slipping around in my arms and I was so scared that I was going to drop out. Obviously being a new mum, I've never had a child before. I've never bathed a baby before. So I was really worried about that. But when we got the angel care bath, it gave me the reassurance that she was safe. She wasn't going to go under the water. She was supported in this bath seat. It has... Um, ridges on the back so they don't slip and um, she was secure in there and she could kick her legs in the water and um, it's just really helped us and now she's kind of outgrowing it so we're looking for another 
probably going to move on to the bigger angel care seat because they're just fab. So that is our top five things that we've absolutely loved since Eva has been with us for the first six months. I would like to talk to you about some of the things that we didn't use in the first six months um, that we thought was a waste of money buying only because when you have a baby, when you're pregnant, well when I was pregnant, you're so excited to go and get all the new things and everything and we just went out and bought things and without thinking about it and then because we were so excited we were having our first child and we didn't really use them so they were a waste of money to us but obviously saying that now they were a waste of money to us but they might not be for you so number one what we waste our money on was a Moses basket so we bought a Moses basket because we were so excited obviously we loved that we got the white wicker one we absolutely loved it but when we bought it we then did some research and found that loads of people didn't use their Moses baskets anymore. Their children didn't like it, they were too small, they only lasted for 13 weeks. So it was a bit like, oh great. And then we saw the Chica and we did lots of research into that and people were just giving it 5 out of 5 saying how brilliant it was. Then we went and bought a Chica, so we'd already spent £100 on this Moses basket and then we went and bought a Chica next to me which was £180. So there we've just wasted £100. Um, luckily we've sold it now but that's what I mean so I would say do your research first I know obviously it's an exciting time and everything but even never once went in her Moses basket so it was a waste of money for us um, two baby mitts I spent money went to next got baby mitts for Eva not thinking obviously because I haven't had a child before not thinking oh inside the baby grows there's integral baby mitts so when you have a baby girl on, they have the internal one, so you can just put it over the end of their hands. I didn't know this, so I'm there buying, wasting money on mitts when all they do is fall off anyway. So I would not waste your money on those. Um, another tip that I would give you is clothes. For a newborn, we bought outfits, clothes, and Eva never wore them because all they want to do is be snug and in a baby girl. Eva would cry when we tried to put clothes on her. Um, so I just didn't bother until she was about two, three months. I would put her in the odd clothes if we were going anywhere nice, but I would just put her in a baby girl. And also babies look so lovely in a baby girl anyway. Obviously if you get like have some ones for in the house, but get some buy some nice ones. Like Eva had some Ted Baker ones, she had some lovely pretty really pretty ones from Next. Um, and then some of the ones like she would have from Primark to chill in the house and, and things, not saying there's anything wrong with Primark, she would still go out in them. But for obviously for occasions, when she's newborn, I'll just put her in a nice baby grow. It's obviously so much more comfy for them. And instead of putting clothes on her, I remember putting a dress on her and she was just like, I could tell she just hated it and she was just crying. She was uncomfortable. Um, and I always just think they look nice in baby grows as well, because they are only little. Another thing that we bought that we haven't used is the Grow Egg. The Grow Egg is amazing, like you just plug it into the wall, it tells you the temperature, it's got a light on it, it says green if the temperature's okay, yellow if it's like a bit too cold, blue if it's freezing and red if it's too hot. We have just never ever used it. Eva has been in our room, she's still in our room now. We are talking about transferring her into her own room, but at the moment she's in our room and we've just never bothered using it. It's just it's still plugged in in her room, switched off at the plug, not being used. Um, I don't know, obviously, whether we will use it when she goes into her own room. I highly doubt it. But, yeah, so we never used that. So that and that was another £20 of waste of money, really. But for you, might work for you, didn't work for us. And lastly, we got Eva a play mat for Christmas. We got it from Mother Care. It was a grey one with sheep and everything on it. Um, it wasn't the one with the full on sheep head and everything that helps them then sit up afterwards. It was just the play mat. It cost us £45 and Eva used it about three times. She hated it. The um, bars at the top that went over her head with all the toys dangling down were too high for her so she couldn't reach them you couldn't lower the bars so that she could reach up and play with the toys so the toys were just dangling in front of her she couldn't touch them she would get frustrated then because she was trying to touch the toys the mat itself was tiny so i don't know whether it's made for like tiny bit just for like the first couple of months but it did say from not to six months um 
and by two months she, her head was like coming off the edge of it the mat was absolutely tiny so she just never used it so what we used to do was just put a blanket on the floor put some toys out for her and she would play like that so that was another £45 of our money wasted um, so yeah I think that's it actually oh and bottles if you are going to bottle feed your baby or if you breastfeed and then you end up bottle feeding I bought bottles before she was born just in case I couldn't breastfeed I was looking at lucky enough to be able to breastfeed her for the first three and a half months after that um Eva then went on to formula and we had bought a load of Tommy Tippy bottles when we tried Eva on Tommy Tippy bottles she wouldn't she couldn't drink I don't know what it was it's just obviously her fussy she wouldn't take to them we then went out and bought the man bottles and straight away just clicked with those bottles so then now we've got a load of Tommy Tippy bottles that we're not going to use Nothing against Tommy Tippy, I know loads of mums, mums that are my friends that use Tommy Tippy and they work fab for them, but they just didn't work for us. Um, so that's what I would say is don't buy bottles before your baby is born because you don't know and then you end up buying loads of different bottles and, you know, so I just say I wouldn't. And if you are going to breastfeed, you don't need to buy bottles until you're ready to stop breastfeeding. So I hope this video has helped you out guys if you're pregnant and a mummy to be or if you're a dad watching this I hope it's helped you out and giving you some information on the different products. Um, if you're new here then please subscribe I would love to have you here. Thank you for everyone who supports me already um, on my journey and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.